All right, I'm Steven from Rugged Routes, back for another quick Lowrance tutorial. And today we're just gonna solve a small problem that comes up really rarely, but when it does come up, it can be a little bit of a pain in the butt, uh, unless you know this quick trick to fix it. And what the problem is, is if you are running the UTV belt temp sensor and you installed it after installing the 0.1 external antenna they have a tendency to sometimes overlap their address on the network so basically when you plug these all into the NEMA 2000 network every device has a, a network number or like an ID number an address and when multiple devices try to use the same address they conflict and then you'll have intermittent data coming in so uh, all we're gonna do is basically reset the point one so the address gets reset and then all the devices both the belt time sensor and the point one have different addresses and then uh, everything should be solid and happy from from then on out so typically this is something on new installs when you install the belt time sensor after you've already had a point one antenna uh, hooked up to the system so let's take a quick look at how we would go about fixing this now it doesn't matter if you have an elite fs or an older Elite TI or, or an HDS, these steps are basically the same. The menus might differ slightly, but the concept and 90% of the steps we're gonna go through right now is, is the same regardless on any of those. So to get started, we'll go ahead and push the pages button and then hit the settings gear up in the left hand corner. Here we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna to go to network And then we're going to go to data sources and we're going to expand out the GPS under all data and then come down here to point one. You can see my point one is checked rather than having an auto. Uh, if it's on auto, it will get your coordinates automatically from the internal GPS antenna or from the point one. If it's available, I typically just lock mine on point one all the time. Uh, but that's just personal preference but for what we're looking for today is if you go all the way across to the right side on the point one line there's this blue bubble with the down arrow and you're going to select that from here all you want to do is hit auto configure and then an auto configure data sources box will pop up it says this will re reselect or remove any invalid data selections all network devices should be connected and powered on are you sure you want to do this? So just go ahead and hit yes, and it'll basically re-address the devices on the network. And if you were having problems with your belt temp sensor, that reading should immediately pop back up. So if the belt temp sensor is new to you and you're not familiar with configuring that, I'll make sure you have a link that you can click on in the video right here and also put it in the description below for first time setups. So as you can see here, the belt temp on my screen is configured in the top right corner. I wasn't able to replicate the problem because actually replicating this rare problem is kind of difficult to do. I've personally never run into the problem, but I've had a few customers that have. So uh, if you're one of those people, hopefully this video helps you out and um, your problem should be solved. So if you have any problems with, uh, with your Lowrance or you're looking for maps or accessories for your off-road GPS uh, uses, Feel free to reach out or visit the website at ruggedroutes.com. And for more tips and tutorials, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it, and we will catch you on the next one.